and now, little children, abide in him. The Apostle having finished his separate instructions exhortations to the fathers, young men, and children, returns to the whole body of the saints in general, whom he addresses, as in 1 Joe 2 colon 1, under the name of little children, see Gil on 1 Joe 2 colon 1, and whom he exhorts to abide in Christ, that is, in the exercise of faith on him, of hope in him, and love to him, and to hold to him the head, and to hold fast his word and gospel, and abide by his truth and ordinances, and adhere to his cause and interest, and not to be moved away on any consideration, to which the following encouragement is given. That when he shall appear, that is, Christ, who is now hid, and out of the sight of bodily eyes, is in heaven, at the right hand of God, but ere long he will appear a second time, and not only to those that look for him, but even every eye shall see him, and his appearance will be a glorious one, and his saints shall appear in glory with him, and shall be like him, and see him as he is. We may have confidence, boldness or freedom, as now at the throne of grace, so then at the throne of judgment, where the saints will stand with courage and intrepidity, when the wicked will flee to the rocks and mountains, being filled with amazement, terror, and trembling and not be ashamed before him at his coming, they will not be put to shame by him, nor will they be ashamed of their confidence, faith, hope, and expectation, their hope will not make them ashamed, for they will now enjoy what they hoped for, and, notwithstanding all their sins and infirmities, they will not be ashamed, for they will have on the wedding garment, the righteousness of Christ, and will stand before the throne without fault, spot, or blemish, nor will Christ be ashamed of them who have not been ashamed of him and his words, but have confessed him, and have been faithful unto death, and have cleaved to him and his cause with full purpose of heart to the end. Some think ministers of the gospel are here meant, who, when those that are under their care abide faithful, and persevere to the end, will give up their account with joy, and will have what they have expressed confidence in, and will have their expectations answered, and not disappointed, by having such souls as their joy and crown of rejoicing.